And I'm Barbara and we're the Sync Sisters. And today we're showing you our third video video in a three-part series right. of getting control of our email, which everybody wants to know how That's to do. That's right. That's right. Our first one was called Organize It. And in that one we showed you how to clean out your inbox and create folders in the system to move forward. Right. And our second one was reducing stress with your emails, yep. which is pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, but a great video. Wonderful. And now today we're showing advanced techniques, which is for you really organized people. <laughs> you want to get super, <laughs> super organized. organized. Um, like we are actually. Um, yeah. And with advanced techniques for organizing your emails. Right, like using mail rules, um, working with multiple right. email accounts, flagging emails, and advanced searching techniques. That's right. So, um, we know you're going to enjoy this video. Let's get ready and get really super organized. All right, let's go do it. This is our tech bit, Get Control of Your Email, Part 3, Advanced Techniques. Great. Um, our first advanced technique that we're going to look at is notifications. Um, you can have set up different notifications for your emails coming in and out and things like that um, that can really help simplify your life. Right. So, we're on our Mac. And you, so where you find the notifications is you come up here in the upper right, and I'm going to click. See like the three and you can see this three is points. very similar to the notification center that you pull down from the top on your iOS. Right, right. And so if I clicked on today, it would give me that. But we want to be in notifications. If I go down here, you'll see this little setting wheel. In the lower right. Yeah. And tap on it. Click on it. Then I, this brings up this box. Now what you see here is something very similar to um, what the iOS, like your iPad or your iPhone has had for um, quite a while now. It's, it lists all your in, you know, programs in this case. It would list all your apps on the iPad, the iPhone. And you can uh, tap on, click on the one that you want. And we're going to go to Mail. So they're really making the Mac and the iOS very similar. They're bringing them together. Yeah, they yep, are. Yep, which is great. It's yep. a wonderful feature. So um, this would be the same as notifications on your I iPhone if you went into settings and then notifications. Right. This is where you do that. So what you can do here is if um, I click mail, you can uh, pick up different kind of notifications that you want. Um, you could do none, which would mean if you when an email comes into your program, you're not going to get any kind of alert. Right. So on your Mac, you know, like when you if you're working in Safari or you're working in another program on your Mac and you're doing something. If a mail message comes in, um, if you have banners or alerts set, it's going to come in and, and, and yep. disturb you. So we're talking about reducing email stress, like check the email when you want to check it. Right. Um, so that's kind of... That would I'm, be, yeah, tying into our second video, that would be a way to reduce stress. Right. Get rid of those alerts. Exactly. Turn if them on. If you want alerts on... Um, come in here and turn them on. Yeah. Here's the second way is the banner. Which is, so if you think of your phone, the banner comes down from the top. It's like a little rectangle like this. And we'll have, you know, the beginning of the email on your... Um, and it goes away right away. Too. Yep. Yeah. On your, I, on your Mac, it'll come, it slides in over here on the right. Right. And then it slides away. Right. And then the last one is these uh, real alerts. They're called alerts. And this will come up a little dialog box. And it will stay on, and you have to do something about it. In these little areas right here, it'll say accept or decline, I believe. Right, right. Um, so you either have to look at it or say, no, I'm not going to look at it. Right. So you'd want to maybe uh, do that if you're expecting an important email and you're going to be busy working. Right. Um, and you don't want you don't want to miss it. Right. Right. And then this would be show notifications in the lock screen, which is similar Just to... Just like the phone. On an iPad, iPad when you mm -hmm. turn it on, but you haven't entered your passcode or anything yet. Um, this would be when it's before you on your on your Mac before you've entered your logged in if you have a password and things like that. Show message preview until the beginning of the message. Right. And um, this is just showing playing sound for notifications or the badge I, a badge for an app icon. Right. Right. So that turn that off. Turn that play sound off because we don't want any and turn to none. I don't want to be disturbed when an email comes in. You don't in. like it. <laughs> I don't mind the banner when I'm working on my Mac. It comes in, I glance oh, at it, and it goes away. I don't like it unless I'm waiting for something. Yeah. Otherwise, I get I right. want to look at it. Like, what was that? So. so that's how you do notifications, and particularly you might have known how to do that on your iPad or your iPhone, but you might not have realized you can do that on your Mac. Too. Right, and if you if you're unclear about how to exactly do it on your iPad <coughs> or your iPad, you can check out our tech bit called um, in the 
settings app playlist on YouTube, and it's called iPad iPhone iPad Notification Center. Right. So let me cover all of this on how to do it on your iOS. Okay. Now the next advanced feature that we're going to talk about right. technique is email threads. So okay. um, an email thread is sort of, um, it will basically would show you what the last person said in the email. Sounds similar yeah. to a text, text message thread, thread right? right? Yes, it does. So we're going to take a look at here. We don't have that feature turned on right now. Okay. So the first email that came in from Beverly Zaney was down here. And it's, you know, hi, she's saying hi, and she wants to see if we can get together and do something. Um, and then... If you notice here, there's an arrow to the left of her name. That means we replied. If I click on that, it'll show me the reply. Okay. And then she must have replied back. And then we replied. And they're kind of all over my inbox. Yeah. So if I decided I wanted to view these um, by conversation. Yeah. Basically, same, I guess, again, same as Yeah. We message. call them conversations. Now, notice how oh, there's whoa, fewer. Oh, whoa. They're all in here. And you can see here that it shows at number three. There are three emails in this conversation thread. And it goes by subject. So um, that's another thing is that okay. I, I think it's important to pay attention to what your subject is. And yeah. when you're emailing people, you know, make sure that you don't reply to an email with the wrong subject and start something new going on. Right. Do a new subject if you're yeah. going to change it up. Anyway, this shows... All the emails that have taken place in this conversation, the first one was down at the bottom, and then it shows the reply, and it shows her reply back, and she says 1030, and I said I can make it at 11, did you find out the password for your router yet, and she says yes, and can you help me do this and that, and I say sure, and so everything is all right here, and I don't have to worry about did I reply to her, did I, what did I say, did I, you know, what did she say, it's all right here in one conversation one email sure. thread okay and it also keeps your mailbox a little bit cleaner because mm -hmm. it's there if you also want to you can click on this three and it'll show you the date and times that mm -hmm. these replies nice. have taken yeah. place so that's kind of so nice now it just, if you were to do another set of emails to with this same person beverly um with a different subject it would not put it in this thread, no right? it would keep it in a separate thread right. so right. that's good you can keep right. my topics yep yep so when you start new Start with a fresh subject. Pay attention to your subject line. It's, it's Yeah, it's important. It does. <laughs> yeah. PSA. Yeah, it does. That's right. Okay. Okay. So that's a great way to kind of reduce yep. the stress inside and, you know, keep things um, organized. Right. So another thing that um, you can do to help organize things and is flagging emails. Right. So um, if you see, there's a little flag up here in my mail program, and this is the same on your iPad or your iPhone. If I have an email selected and I go up to the flag and I just click on it, you can see it put a little flag here. And if I click on it, it's over there. Mm -hmm. So you can flag emails. And why would you want to flag emails? Um, you want, you know, emails that you want to stand out in your inbox. Right. Um, for right. any number of various reason, reasons. Like uh, a good example is a lot of us buy movie tickets online. Uh, then we go to the movie theater and we're like searching through our inbox, right. trying to find it. If you flag it, it's going to put it right at the top, get to the theater, you see it right away, you can access it. Yes, and you also have a flagged folder where you can see it put it over here. All your flags right. in one place. So, yeah. you know, it's a way of like, what's important, you know, maybe you want to have some key important emails Right. You want at the top of your inbox, and right. you might want to easily get to them here. Right. I find that like when I have 15 or 20 things in my inbox, that's good. That's still manageable. But if I don't, if there are certain few mm -hmm. things that I really need to pay attention to, I flag them right. so they show up at the top. Or if you think of it like um, now that we've got our new system in place, our inbox is really like a to-do list. And when right. I used to make a handwritten paper one, I would maybe star some that right. were important. Right. You know? Right. So yeah. it's, it's like that. It's kind of the same thing. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice feature. But don't go crazy with it. You know, use it with caution. Right. Then you start ignoring the flags. Right. Before yeah. Karen set me straight on this new system, I mean, I was flagging everything and then I wasn't unflagging them when I was done and it was just a mess. Right. Because I unflagged everything and I'm only flagging things that are, yeah. that are really key. Great. Um, another advanced feature that can get extremely advanced is called rules. Yes. And <clears throat> this is for you highly organized people. Highly right? organized people and people who get a lot of email. Yes, true. Okay? What rules will do 
and we're going to take a look at them in a second, is it'll take the mail and not put it in your inbox. It'll put it right away where you tell it to do or whatever action you tell it to do okay. in the rules. So I'll tell you how I use it. Um, and I use it because um, as a realtor, I'm also a realtor, as a realtor, I get, a, there's a service called Book of Showing. So every time I want to look at a property, I get like three or four emails from Book of Showing. Uh, you've asked for it, now you've been approved, now give us feedback and all these kind of things. And I don't want those junking at my inbox. I just want them to go directly into a folder called Book of Showing that I can refer to when I'm ready to deal with that that um, So it sounds aspect. like you're setting up an action. You're setting up an action, right. right. So we're going to go to the mail menu and we're going to go to preferences. Okay. Okay. And in mail preferences, we have a number of things across the top and we are clicking on rules. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go down and we're going to take a look at, um, I used to use rules for a lot of things. Look at you. Yeah. No, my personal email. <laughs> this will tell you a lot about Barb's personality. <laughs> well, very organized. Very organized. But I don't use them as much anymore because I now have this great new system oh, that you helped right. me develop. <laughs> that you developed and we furthered it and it's great. So I don't use them very much, but I do use it for book of showing and we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at it. We're going to edit it and we're going to take a look. So you can name it whatever you want. Okay. And then the first thing is, it's kind of an if-then kind of a thing. Right. Okay? A Boolean operation. So if, and you can say um, any or all. Mm -hmm. you know, I say any. If any of the following these conditions are met, if you did all, it would have to be every one of those conditions were met. Right. Okay. okay. Um, now I'm saying if friend contains feedback at Booker Showing, if the subject contains showing feedback requests, if from contains, there's mm -hmm. a bunch of emails that they, they sent. Right. So identified all those and added them, and you can keep adding them by hitting the plus sign, and you can just keep going. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, and then you can say, do this. So I okay. have it moving the message to the mailbox, book a showing. And then I say, stop evaluating rules, you're done. That's right. always the last thing. And again, a mailbox is really a folder. It's really a I folder. Know. That's right. Isn't that they got to change it? Confusing. Yeah. So here are some of the um, performing things that you can do. Okay, okay. I've only you ever just simply have it moving into. I've only folder. ever used it for moving. Right. But oh, okay. You could copy a message and put it somewhere. Copy it to a folder. So maybe you want to keep it. I guess this would be if you wanted it to come into your inbox, but also go into yep. the folder. Which you could do that, which would be defeating the purpose. Yeah, right. Um, you can set the color of the message. And I think sometimes Apple Mail defaults to that, where mm -hmm. all the emails that come from Apple are blue, so they right. stand out in your inbox. Mm -hmm. So you could do colors mm -hmm. to organize your email. You could have it play a sound. Yep. Uh, bounce the icon in the dock so yep. that you know you would know if so the, kind of, the icon will kind of jump. Yeah, up which and down. might be not a bad thing if you were waiting for an it's email. another way of notifying or right. alerting. Right. So if you really wanted to know when mm -hmm. an email came from a certain person, you could have it bounce in the dock. Mm -hmm. um, you could have it send you a notification. Seems simpler, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Sending a notification. This isn't a bad idea. So if you're waiting to hear back from somebody and you know that you're going to hear back from them when you're in one of your um, email free times. Mm -hmm. Um, you could set it to send you a notification when it comes in. Right. Okay. Um, reply to a message, forward, redirect. You could delete yep. them immediately. If there was somebody who emailed you that you do not want to see their emails anymore, you could say when an email comes in from this person, to wow. delete it right away. That's like, insane. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have any people that I'm like that, but there could be somebody like that right. in your life. Maybe that, you have an ex that you don't want to hear exactly, from. Exactly. Exactly. So you can just do that. Uh, market is red. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. That would be confusing. Uh, market is flagged. Um, or run an Apple script so you can like you program can really a little crazy. routine. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so there are a lot of things that you can do. Yes. And um, go ahead and explore this yep. for more information. And you find it really useful for... For yeah, this yeah. one purpose yeah. now, I find it really useful. Otherwise, um, I don't use that because they've added more features like flagging, like smart mailboxes, like... Um, mm -hmm. VIPs, which you're going to talk about now, right? right. And that yep. has really helped me stay organized. Right. Um, so the VIPs, uh, if you look over here on this uh, panel here, your inbox right below it is a folder called VIPs. And this shows up on your iPad and your iPhone too. Um, and what you can do is you're sort of marking people as important in people, right? Mm -hmm. VIPs. Mm -hmm. So if I click on an email, all I have to do is click her name. There was a little, mm -hmm. if you saw that, a little arrow to the right of her name, and I'm going to say add to VIPs. Now you can see that she has a star by her a name. A star by her name. And if I go over to this folder, 
They, She's going to show yep. up there. Now, the thing about VIPs is, is it it's a copy. So right. in my inbox, that email is still in my inbox. So it's not just moving it in there. Right. It's just a way to you know look up important people. Yeah, it's easy. Right. It's denoting it, too. If you look in your inbox, you're like, oh, there's some stars. The stars are going to stand out. So you're yep. going to know that you should look at those first. And you also have, if you have more than one VIP, you can click to open to expand it. And then you can just go to oh, right. that one person. That's awesome. There's Beverly. Yep. All of Beverly's emails will be in one place. I am glad to see that I am a VIP here. You are a <laughs> VIP in my world. And I... I really find that this really, um, this wasn't around before, and I used all those rules to move things into folders, but now with VIP, I don't really need to do that. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. Because I can see all of your emails. It's a little simpler to quick. use, too. It is. It is. <laughs> Very easy to turn on and off, too. Right. Now, the last thing that you can, of course, do in email is you can search. You know, we have, we've, we've showed you how to set up a system. We've showed you how to create folders to organize your emails. But you don't always necessarily want to go into, you know, a folder and look for something. You want to just search for it. So mm -hmm. if you come up here into the search area, um, and you can also do this on yep. your iOS device. No, it's not better. as advanced. Yeah, but it's still, it's now better. It wasn't yeah. as good. Now you can at least, you can select to and from and things like that. So if you come in here and you type in a name... Um, Beverly Zaney, let's say, there she is. I can, it'll come up and default to from the person's name you typed in. Mm -hmm. But you can click, there's a little down arrow yeah, head, yeah. and you can come in here and you can say from, to, or the entire message. Right. Um, and you can also do this on iOS. So once the person comes up, you can tap on the person and then it'll drop down and show you from, to, an entire message. Oh, okay. Um, you also can add another thing. So you can say, I want emails from Beverly Zaney that just have the word help in them. <laughs> yeah. Right. And notice over here in the where it's showing it's me showing the emails. Up. I'm going to take that help out. Here's all the emails from Beverly Zaney. Yep. But now if I just type in help, these are the only ones that have right. help in it. It's showing you the right. results. And I can do subject contains help, or mm -hmm. it's showing me here with some other things. Need email help, need help with email, you know, whatever I want to put in. So I'm going to say subject equals help, and I could keep going. Yeah, it's I, it's amazing. I love it. I love the yeah. email search on the Mac. Yeah, it's really, really yeah. advanced. It so is. you have a lot of ways to search for email, and then you can take a look at mm -hmm. them from there. So Great. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.